In this video, I'll be showing how to take ingots of solid bismuth, which can be purchased online, and use them to form these complex crystals on a kitchen stove. Bismuth has a melting point of 520 degrees Fahrenheit, which for a metal is very low. It's still more than hot enough to cause burns, so for this project, safety goggles and leather gloves are essential. This is 5 pounds of bismuth metal, in the form it's usually sold. The first step in the process will be to melt this down. A small stainless steel saucepan makes for a good crucible. I suggest using a pan you're not attached to, because it will likely never be clean again. Once fully liquid, the heat is turned off. It will take quite a while to cool. In the meantime, all the oxides and other contaminants will float to the top, where they can be skimmed off. As the temperature again falls below bismuth's freezing point, crystals begin forming at the surface, growing downward into the molten metal beneath. We can gently move the crystals as they grow to be sure they don't freeze to the bottom of the pan. The moment they can be felt contacting other things below the surface, it's time to pull them out and see our result. At first, the crystals appear only silver, but a layer of oxidation quickly adds color the shade of which is determined by what temperature the crystals are when they first contact the air. We only get one chance per cooling cycle to create crystals we're interested in, but if the results aren't satisfying, it only takes a few minutes to melt everything down and try again. A synthetic bismuth geode is also possible to create using a small ceramic bowl as a mold. The ceramic needs to be preheated so it doesn't crack from temperature shock when the bismuth is poured in. This particular process has a high potential for spills, so it's much more dangerous than making surface layer crystals with the previous method. Don't try this one at home. I wait for the metal to begin cooling, taking off the top layer so it doesn't seal completely closed. Shortly after, the remaining liquid is poured out of the center to reveal the result. The crystallization can be revealed further by cutting the top portion off entirely. I did this with a hacksaw. If you enjoyed this project, check out some of my others. All of my videos are available on my YouTube channel, Nighthawk in Light. Thanks for watching.